Okay, so I've already drilled the four corner holes and now I'm just drilling them out to the size I need for the um, for the screws that are going through. So got magic here. four corners drilled to the size I need. Um, the next part is to um, countersink the into the steel for the flathead screws. This is a, a four flute uh, countersink bit and I know I'll probably get some comments about that. Um, if I had a single flute I'd probably use that you get less chatter but this is all I have at this um, at this angle for the metric screws. So I'll um, we'll put a little tap magic on here and we'll just get it started. deeper. Still sticking a little bit proud, we'll just go just a tiny bit deeper. Okay, let's do three more of those and, and that'll take care of this part. I've already got the, the um, steel piece, I've got the holes drilled and I've um, countersunk them. This is just a pin because I already drilled a hole in this aluminum extrusion and I want to get this other one drilled through the aluminum. So I have this set of transfer punches that fit into the hole and I can just center punch by hitting it here with the hammer and that locates where I where to drill the next hole. So I have that uh, transfer punch punch to drill the second hole so I'll just drill that now.
connectors work is you put a stainless steel screw through the, the little bracket and then slide it into the hole and it lines up with this hole that I drilled this hole that I drilled through here which gives you access for the allen wrench from the bottom and then you could take one of these uprights that's tapped and just uh, insert the allen wrench through the through the hole in the bottom and then line it up with the tap hole in the extrusion and then just tighten it up So then it attaches it and the, these little tabs that stick up here keep it in alignment so it doesn't turn with the extrusion. So. flat on this steel plate so that everything gets lined up properly. And there we go. I'll just make two of those and then the plate will sit on top of that and screw with flathead screws into this. So again, it's, it's one of these brackets slides into the extrusion, lines up with that, uh, with this hole down here, this one, lines up there, holes that are drilled through this extrusion are just to have clearance for the allen wrench to go through. And the holes in the bottom of the extrusion are tapped to 8mm. These are 8mm stainless steel screws, button head screws. And the, the two that hold the top plate on are flathead, 8mm um, flathead screws. Okay, so I have two of these and this extra length that sticks out is so that the bandsaw doesn't tip over once it's attached to the, the um, top plate. So the way this goes on, it'll mount like this, the flathead screws, and then I've got a, a cut here in the top for the bandsaw blade to go through. I still have to drill the holes and um, for mounting the saw into onto the onto the top plate. Okay, there's one last thing I wanted to show you guys on the saw. Um, this little plate that goes on on when the band bandsaw is portable. Um, I drilled and tapped a couple holes just to mount it on here so I don't lose it. And then if I want to use the bandsaw as portable, then I can um, remove that and attach, attach it back onto the saw. That way I don't lose it. Okay, so I got the assembly done. Um, got my 8mm flathead screws into the feet. And the, the bottom rail extends back so that it's not tippy. And I drilled holes and countersunk them um, to mount it to the mount the saw into the table. 
with a slot cut here for the blade. And I have a foot switch to operate it. So I put that foot switch together. Um, so. so there's the foot switch. So I think what I have left to do is just um, take the half inch steel plate off, um, remove all the screws and then I have some, you know, finish work on corners and edges and and then I'll put a coat of paint on it so it won't rust and then we'll call it done. Alright, uh, please like the video and um, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Thanks.